we think about finishing our quilts, many of us like the all-over quilting pattern that you get when you send your quilt to a long arm quilt service. Well, now you can do it at home using continuous line quilting guides. I'm Jill Rupp from June Taylor. Let me show you how. Continuous line quilting guides are actually marking templates. We use the edges of the template to actually start by marking rows on our quilt, either the front or the back, and then just take a marking pen and mark through your template guide here all the way around the front or the back of the quilt. And you can continue to line the ruler up exactly where you left off on the last spot and it'll continue to line up row by row. And when you've finished, the result is really pretty. It looks just like you've sent it out to be professionally quilted. This is the cloud pattern. And let me show you another on this darker fabric here with contrasting fabric or contrasting thread because that really shows the pattern a little bit more. We also have it in other designs. This design is the puzzle piece pattern and I'll show you a quilted version of the puzzle piece right here. This was done in a contrasting thread so it's a little bit easier to see. So it's a nice all over design and it works on a lot of quilts. We also have it in what we call the flowers pattern and that's this guide right here. That's a little bit of a closer pattern. You can see it here when I hold up this quilt that you get the overall flower pattern. But again, you're actually sewing this row by row and it's giving you that professionally finished look. We're going to use the puzzle piece template for today's example. The first part of the process is you'd layer your quilt front, your batting, and your backing. You can mark either on the front or the back of the quilt, whichever you prefer. And we start out by first of all just making rows. I'm going to pretend that this white is my backing of my quilt. And I'm just lining the ruler up on the top and the side edges and the first thing I'm going to do is mark rows. This is actually part of the whole continuous line process. It doesn't look like it when you're done quilting. It looks like it's a perfect pattern but it's actually done row by row. It's super easy to mark and even easier to quilt, whether you're machine quilting or hand quilting. So on the entire back of your quilt, take the ruler, go along both edges, and mark all your rows. The next step is on your rulers, on your template, you're gonna see a vertical line right here. There's one here and there's one here. You wanna take that vertical line and simply place it on the edge of your quilt lining your ruler up top to bottom in that vertical line and then you will begin actually marking inside the template. It's super easy. Any marking tool will use. Eventually you're probably going to wash out these lines anyway when you're done doing your actual quilting. So just continue on doing your marking. When you get to the end of the template, lift it up, shift it over, and find those same vertical lines again because that's going to tell you exactly where to realign the template and continue marking. That's where the word continuous comes in to continuous line quilting guide. So you can see when I finish marking and lift this up there's just a continuation of marking and eventual quilting. This is absolutely seamless right here where I stopped and started. Now take it to the next row, line up your template top to bottom, and then use that vertical line on the template again and do the same thing. I'm just going to mark a little bit more here so you get the idea. It's actually a lot of fun and relaxing. And then once you've got it marked, then you start the fun part of the process, which is the actual quilting. Now my next step would be to lift it up, shift it over, again realign my template top to bottom, and again, where did I leave off? Line that up with the vertical line here and here and continue on. When I have the whole back marked, it will look like this. Here's my continuous line pattern all stitched. This is that puzzle piece design that we marked row by row and did the quilting. They come in two sizes. Here's the smaller version of the puzzle piece as well, so your lines are a little bit closer together and as a result so is your stitching pattern. Again, here's our flower design quilted up and here's the smaller version of that. Isn't that pretty? It's a very concentrated floral pattern but just spectacular. And here is the cloud design again. This is the one we showed you initially and this is what the smaller version looks like. So now you can get that professional look of continuous line quilting just like at a long armor only you've done it yourself.